and welcome back. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday, friends. Um, I am so excited to be here with you. This is series episode eight, series number eight. We are going to continue on this top 200 drug, drug journey because it's 40% worth of your exam. That's why. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, but you be coming here studying with me all the time, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you subscribe, you ring the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date with what we're doing. Um, and just tune in, okay? Go tell a friend, tell your mama, tell your cousin, the LW Pharmacy Technician School is helping you pass that board certification exam, okay, friend? Get your paper, get your pen, get your phone, whatever it is that you're using to take them notes home so we can go ahead and jump into the content. Let's get it. Okay, so the first one we're talking about is an overactive bladder. Um, when you think about an overactive bladder, we're talking about, you know, going to the restroom on a consistent basis, um, waking up in the middle of the night. I mean, just where that bladder is overactive. And when that is happening to the per to the patient, that means that they are going to be, um, sometimes it can, you know, be different conditions that is causing the overactive bladder. Um, it just really kind of depends, but medications that are used for the overactive bladder is Detrol LA and the generic name for Detrol LA is Tolteridine. Tolteridine, okay? Write that down because that is definitely something that you will be seeing that is a very, very, very common drug and it is used for an overactive bladder, okay? Um, that is Tolteridine, okay? Now let's go ahead and move to the next one. The next one is going to talk about narrow therapeutic index drugs. Remember I told you about the NTI drugs. These are drugs that are very, uh, you need to be cautious with them. We don't want the patient to start taking this brand and then take that brand. You know, they're getting that blood test uh, taking place every week because they're trying to ensure and make sure that the medication is doing what it's supposed to do to the patient, okay? Um, when it says, which of the following medications is used for bipolar disease and epilepsy? I want you to know that bipolar and epilepsy are things that affect the nervous system. They are things that affect the nervous system. The answer for this question is going to be A, A as in apple, okay? A as in apple. The brand name for carbamazepine is Tegretol. Tegretol, okay? Whenever you see an XR here, that means that that is the extended release. Write that down. XR is extended release. And what that means is, is the patient only needs to take that drug one time a day because it is extending the medication throughout the body over a long period of time. So it's like taking Zyrtec. You know, normally I take Zyrtec, baby, especially if you in H-Town, okay? Because right now I'm feeling a little, some, some allergies or whatever, but um, when you take the Zyrtec, you typically take it one, one time a day. It's extended release because that means the medication is being pushed throughout the body throughout the day to last for the entire 24 hours. So XR is what? Baby, extended release. I heard you. Don't worry about it. I heard you, friend. It's extended release. Okay. Now we're going to look at asthma drug class. So these are medications that are going to affect the bronchial, right? It's upper respiratory. These are things that are that are going to where um, you may see people where there's a lot of dust. I've been talking to a lot of people in Washington lately because they've been watching my channel and they've been telling me about how that smoke, you know, it's a lot of smoke out there right now and they are having a hard time breathing. Look, shout out to my friends in Washington that's holding it down, okay? I see you. I know what you got going on. I'm here with you, and I want I want you to succeed, okay? Keep doing your thing. But anywho, um, the drug classification that Singular belongs to is leukotriene inhibitors. Leukotriene inhibitors is going to be the answer for Singular. Now, check this out. Singular is the brand. Monte Lucas is the generic. And then look, leukotriene inhibitor, and then Monte Lucas. Baby, you better be paying attention to the relationship they got going on because they sound alike. So if you saw this, the Monte Lucas, and then you saw the leukotriene inhibitor, I'm going to need you to pick what look alike, okay? Because that's a dead giveaway that that is something that is kind of connected to each other. 
Um, y'all been asking me about that Facebook study group. Y'all been asking me for it. So I said, let me go ahead and drop the link. I dropped the link in this video description. Please make sure you check it out. Friend, it's free to join this study group. And it's people, it's, you check this, 1,200 people all over the country, all around the world, friend, want to get certified just like you. They are putting in the work just like you. They are studying, they're reading, they're working with Lindsay, they're watching LW, they're making sure that they stay connected. Why? Because it's important that they pass. Why? Because our life depends on it. Our future self is saying, hey, present person, please do what you need to do so we can make things better in the future, okay? Um, make sure that if you are on Facebook that you go to Pharmacy Tech Exam Prep Squad so you can be a part of the family and you can keep up with the day-to-day -day activities that we're posting in there. We have moderators, we have friends, we have family, we have people in there who are just in there because they want to support you. We also post remote pharmacy technician jobs where you can be hired from where you are and not have to go into a building to get your money, okay? We on this tech money train, okay? So make sure you, you tap me in, friend, because it's definitely a good place to be while you are building your confidence. Now, when we think about the heart, mm, mm, BB. You know what? Omarion got this song. He said, I got that ice box where my heart used to be. And he be he be putting that heart right there and he be dancing. Look, I grew up with Omarion at B2K. Don't play with it. If you don't know nothing about it, it's okay. Anyway, um, the conditions of the heart. So when we're talking about the conditions of the heart, we're talking about uh, the rhythm. How is that thing beating? Is that thing beating too fast? Is it beating too slow? Is it beating on time? And when people are having troubles with the beat, it's moving too fast, the rhythm is off, okay? And typically they are prescribed letter B for that, okay? Write that down, write that down. Now we're looking at Alzheimer's drugs, Alzheimer's. So when I think about Alzheimer's, I immediately think about um, my great auntie, who passed away. She was in her 90s. She lived a very good life, but she did develop Alzheimer's throughout, you know, towards the end of her life here on earth. And um, I remember them just trying so many different things, you know, and she would go in and out. She would be here. Then she would go. She would come back. She would go. And um, it is so interesting to me how this condition can just come and it affects the brain and it just affects everything about the person, including the family that is connected to that person, okay? I have a very soft spot for Alzheimer's and just people in general who deal with it. Um, when we think about the generic drug Aricep, when I think about Aricep, I think about airy mind because when they're dealing with Alzheimer's, their mind is kind of airy. It's like they're up in the clouds and they are kind of spacey. You know, they're here, but they're touch and go. Um, and so the answer for the generic name for Aricep is going to be letter A. Write that down. This is a very common drug. You will see that again. Now, when we're thinking about vaccines, vaccines, how they should be stored, okay? Some are stored in the refrigerator, some are stored in the, in the freezer, okay? Um, MMR is a vaccine that is stored in the refrigerator or it needs to be frozen, okay? So it can be stored either way, either way, either frozen or in the refrigerator. You wanna be familiar with your vaccines if you're taking the PTCB, you probably won't get that question, but this is good for those who may want to pursue vaccination certification, okay? Um, Detroit LA, there you go again. I told you, look, top 200 drugs that don't play with it, they are going to be repetitive. Again, we're talking about the overactive bladder, overactive bladder, and you should remember that from the first slide that um, Detroit LA is also known as Toteridine. D as in dog, tolteridine. The next one is medication indication. What is the medicine indicated for? Um, we're talking about the, the box warning, okay? Um, it says that this medication is indicated for deep vein thrombosis and there's a prophylaxis and it possesses a box warning. A box warning is here to let you know, hey, hold what you got. 
because you may be running up on some whole oh, what you got okay it gives you some knowledge it tells you what to expect it tells you a little bit more about the drug okay it also tells you some of the side effects it just goes into a little bit more of uh information about the drug and just kind of different things that you can expect and letter d is going to be the correct answer for this particular question letter d now we're looking at the brand name okay brand name for the zoster vaccine is zostafax do you see the zos here and then the zos there remember i told you some of these people be cousins they be sisters and brothers look Find the co-relationship so you can make that thing work, friend. Make it work, okay? Um, now we're going to look at SSRIs. This is going to be used to treat depression, and it can be used to treat OCD. Um, typically, when they're taking an SSRI, they're going to take it one time a day. And the answer for um, this question is citalopram. Citalopram is the answer for this question. And it is used for depression and OCD, okay? This is not a Schedule two drug, a Schedule three, Schedule four, Schedule five. I know in the past I've told you that depression and anxiety drugs are commonly uh, prescribed and they are commonly listed as Schedule fours. But this particular drug is not a scheduled drug. It is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, SSRIs. Look that up. Look it up, friend. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Pause the video, run it back so you can get what the acronyms stand for, okay? Look, I done told you, you're going to pass that test today. Last thing I'm going to leave you with, I did not want this to be a long video because I want to make sure that you are studying and that you're also having fun and enjoying your weekend, friend. I know that you're trying your best to pass, but you also have to make sure you have some downtime and that you're giving yourself grace in space, grace to grow, space to understand what you're learning, and then go back and apply what you've read, okay? Um, join our Facebook study group. It is here to support you, friend. It is not anything that causes you any money. It's not going to cost you anything, but it is going to support you right where you are. I am so happy that you guys are reaching out to me. Drop your comments in the Facebook study group. Drop your comments in this video below. Tell me where you are. Tell me what you're studying. Tell me how you did in the past. If it's your first time taking it, I want to know. If you went to a class and you didn't pass, I want to know where are you right now? I want to be a part of what you're going through, okay? Um, I'm so glad that we're here. Thank you for allowing me to study with you. I hope you enjoy your Sunday and that you continue to love on yourself as you continue to do your very best. Take care. Bye.